Well, Joker, we're going to go ahead and let you take the wheel. All right, let us so, jump into our first topic. Um, and again, Jen, thank you for coming on the podcast itself. I know you don't know what the hell this is, but we do like to talk about current events. And the most current event that's going on right now is um, we have to touch on it. And I got to get all y'all thoughts individually because this is a male to female situation. Um, uh, Will and Jada uh, are now, uh, Jada's going, she has a book coming out. Uh, yeah, it just came out. Uh, she basically went, is going on a tour of putting a lot of their personal business out. Um, she had mentioned that they've been separated since 2016. Uh, when Jada, uh, when Will said, keep my wife name at your fucking mouth, she said, I was surprised that he called me wife because he hasn't referred to me in that name since forever. So I was surprised he called me wife. And of course, she also said that, um, you know, she is what you call a, a urban nun where she doesn't have sex. She has uh, went to um, plant. Uh, uh, I forget the name of the plant. Just she was at quick. She was fucking August. But I, I know I was confused about that. But okay. yeah, 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 she was. But that's what she, that's what she said. So yes, that was the last time. So yeah. as she's going on this tour, um, <laughs> Will was quiet. But as of today, Will has spoken. Okay. And so I want to be current with this. Will has said, this is my best friend. There's nothing in this world that would make her not be my best friend. And I will support her for the rest of my natural life. Period. You memorize that? Uh, uh, not word for word. But it's, <laughs> it's in the ballpark. Like it's in the ballpark. No, I felt like you did. I felt like that that was happened today. Clip. No, that happened today. Um, and he said, I will support her for the rest of my life. So with her going on this tour of putting their business out there, Mind you, the Smiths has been very private. <laughs> um, let's talk with the ladies. What are y'all thoughts on not only Jada, but also Will Smith as far as going on this coming out tour, like speaking your business to the world that technically should be private? Says who? Says who? Let's start. Hey, Jada, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Hey, talk about it. Talk about it. Um, when I feel like there's a different side when like people think of you as famous or like look up to you for whatever or whatever you're just in some kind of light like it somehow like dehumanizes you and I disagree um that's just my personal experience with that um I think I like have experiences that some people wouldn't even think or that I have certain character traits and like personality traits that people wouldn't even think just because of like the amount of followers or something yeah. um but I'm human too and I think that if people want to use their platform to share, that's totally their business. If they want to use their platform to inspire, that's their business. If they want to use their platform to defend themselves, that's their business. Like, it's just their business. Like, people should do whatever they want to do. Like, um, I really don't know all the details. I, I just, yo, if you find a partner like that, where you don't ever want to give up on them. You don't want to divorce them, but you guys can still like argue and then still agree to like be happy in separate ways as well. I commend that. That takes a lot of strength. Like some people think like, okay, just get divorced and then be happy by yourself. But like, what if you still love that person? Like, what if that's just not an option? Like, I think that takes a lot of strength and to be in the public eye and stay true to you regardless of all the feedback, I, I come in that as well. Like being honest and staying true to your heart and what's right for you, regardless of feedback or opinions or hatred or whatever. Like I just, I can respect that as far as anything else. Like that's not my business. I don't know. Like, so let me ask this and you can answer it. And then I want Angel's thoughts is, uh, should, do you believe that will, uh, they talked about Jada's, you know, coming out to her and talking all that. You you feel like they talked about that prior, and that's why Will is okay with it all. That he knows exactly what she's gonna say already. Or do you feel like she's just basically saying her truth, and he is getting blindsided right now? I have no idea, but I mean, I would think in a partnership or in any relationship, family, friends. Like, it would be good to have open communication about everything and discuss it. I think that makes sense. Um, I don't know what works for them or they're allowed to make mistakes as well, like, and work through it in the public limelight if they want. Um, I mean, who knows? But 
Yeah, yeah I don't. I have no. I have no clue. <laughs> Andrew, what's your thoughts as far as do you feel Will had uh, the he had the no? He was in the know of all this. First of all, Jada works my everlasting nerve. Oh. And Whoa. this is coming from someone who I was so in love with Jada Pinkett. Like whatever, whatever, Jada. Just all of it. Like even back from like um, a different world, oh, yeah. Jada. Like. I loved Jada throughout her whole career. And then her and Will being a thing, I loved them. I envied them. And I feel like, you know, time do change stuff. As you get older, your kids get older. Of course, like, things change. I do believe, though, in order to have some sense of, like, a a successful relationship, some things should be left private, especially if it's not already out there or if people aren't asking. Like, I feel like Jada just be telling unsolicited truths. Like, (sighs) nobody solicited this. Like, oh, we'll be peeing in the bed. Like, nobody asked you that. Like, why did you feel... But I feel like it's my truth because, honestly, I love him for him. Like, girl! Like, (laughs) then we'll just... We'll be like... You know, at the end of the day, I've had a problem for a long time. And, you know, my wife is like, and I don't think that he just be blindsided every step of the way. I don't think that. But I do think like he just ain't got no control when it comes to her. So it's not really a conversation. It's more so I'm just like, you know what I'm about to do. So you don't feel, you know what I'm saying? Because when she had that grown man sit across from her at that red table and introduce the word entanglement Entanglement. to the world, (laughs) it just let me know that like she going to do what she like. He don't really necessarily wear the pants in a marriage like. She gonna do what she wanna do, and he, and he's gonna be cool with. It. Now, if he cool with it, he cool with it. I, you know, that's his prerogative. If that's, you know, yeah. who are we to judge if he accepts these things? That's just like a woman. Like, oh, you're in a relationship with a man who has other women or whatever. Who are we to judge if that's what you accept? And I mean, they're both consenting adults. No one's being held hostage. I hope. Yeah, I hope. Wink R. If, Kelly. if you need help. Wink <laughs> if you need us, Will. We so, love you. Let me ask, this is for the fellas then. Uh, and I want y'all's thoughts on this. What are y'all thoughts on the situation? And do y'all believe that there's a such thing as unconditional love? I like to hear this. Uh, here's my thoughts. I do believe in unconditional love. Okay. I don't think that's reserved for men necessarily. Oh, wow. But that's a whole nother topic. What I will say is this. Apart from all that, because like you said, it's who knows what their relationship is. But as a role, a man's role is to protect and provide for his woman. I feel that's a certain amount of protection that should be reserved for your man. And she is not protecting his integrity. And she is not protecting uh, whatever level of respect that he should be able to command from individuals he deals with. Now we can all act like, you know, oh, you know, he's respect you, but when your woman don't respect you, mm. nobody does. And Will Smith is a business. It's not right. slander. So, Liable. Super ass. So, Liable slander. <laughs> so I just feel like she's not protecting him. Mm. You know, we talk about Tupac is your soulmate. You can't say that in our national TV, man. Tupac is your soulmate? Tupac is dead. (laughs) Like, whatever whatever that was, that's gone. How long has he been deceased? Yeah, that died with him. How long has he been deceased? 1995? Whatever. So 25, almost 30 years? Yeah. Almost 30 years. That's the one that really got me. That really got me. Like Tupac is your soulmate. Should he allow her to talk like that? Like should I not, can't control control her. you can't control? Yeah, you can't allow. But no it's one not even about allow. Yeah, I'm it's not, not allow. That's, that's a bad allowed. word. That's a bad word. It's about I love you so much that I would never let anybody think that you are other than this. Right. Like I will slap a a Chris Rock on stage for making a joke about I you. Think, I think he was channeling Denzel Washington when he did that. Oh damn. <laughs> He's like. He's like, like like keep going crazy <laughs> name. Like think about it. Keep going. <laughs> <and laughs> like, check it though. <laughs> you were battling demons from yeah, doing emancipation. He was acting. Emancipation. Right. emancipation let's, let's let's even say it like this. And I know Angel would never put you in this type of position. But let's say she you slapped a nigga no. behind Angel, right? Mm-hmm. Angel would never get on nothing and say, I don't know why that nigga did that. I that wouldn't even. 
I would have. Did she? Did Jada say that? She did say that. Okay, because I don't. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm be knowing. The she said she don't know why he did she it. Mind you, they were separated and living in separate houses. <laughs> so at the she time. says. So she says they were separate, living in separate houses. They weren't even looking at each, yeah, each other I, as husband and wife. What are we even doing here? I, res- I respect your opinion about that for sure, because there is a certain level of like. If Covered that's that your wife. chosen Covered partner, yeah. yeah, like that's a reflection of you, and like you supposed to support them regardless in public. Say something else in private, like just like your kids, like you know what I mean. Yeah, like, would you do at that the to school, your kids? You know, at the school, like support them. Like you're not wrong, and then go home and be like, "What the I'm hell were you the thinking?" Dog shit out yeah. you when we yeah. get to this house. I dumb as <laughs> Like no, nah, but I think if you are a celebrity for so long and you're so used to everything being public, like maybe we just aren't considering the fact that she just don't really know. When and what, how to, you know. Yeah, I think she might have been in the house too long. <laughs> She's been yeah. put up too long. She don't know what to do. Rook, I got to get your thoughts because uh, I heard his answer about unconditional love. What are your thoughts when that it comes to Will not- Smith having unconditional love for her? That's, no matter what that, happens, that, that shit is not love. That's that's something else. I don't know oh, what wow. The, uh, none of that shit is love. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's all like do boys, do birds say. That's a spell. That's a <laughs> Hollywood games. <laughs> Hollywood games. You think, Will, you think Will ate the placenta? It's good. There's nothing wrong with that. I think he needs. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, I would. I would want to get the opinion from their children. That's what yeah. I want to. They, they actually. They, they, they chimed in. Who's gonna, yeah. They actually who's said that the their mom is doing too much. Uh, I forgot. I think it was uh, yeah. Jaden. He says my mom is doing too much. Usually the mom be doing too much. Usually, bro. When, when <laughs> but no, she was battling depression for eight years. This might be her therapy. Like I've been holding. Yeah, things. you can. You she know might be holding this in front of the world. No, I'm saying she might be holding Will for so long but that's, that I have to say this or I'm gonna blow. Yeah, that's why you talk to a therapist. I, I feel like everybody has secrets. Will Smith definitely has a lot of secrets. Everybody, yeah, no one, no, no, one, we don't know shit about Will Smith. Everybody <laughs> has secrets. <laughs> everybody on this panel has secrets. I don't. I, Not no more. Not right? one. Y'all could ask me anything. You let them all out. Not one secret. I'm just, I'm Do you share? We'll talk off camera. <laughs> uh, y'all can ask me anything. I was Look, I'm trying to think of something salacious. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna take it there. Like everybody, like between me and Rook, there are things that I've experienced with Rook. There are things that I know about Rook. There's things that Rook has confided in me about that the world will never know. I don't care how I, don't I know agree. Those are secrets. There, there are things. When I, I say secrets, it's not like I oh, what you're saying. I, like, I, I got feel seven no, people. I got to hang there. I'm just saying like Let's private rewind matters. It. Your weaknesses. Your yeah. weaknesses. Yeah, there you go. For example, and this is an example. This is not a fact. This is only an example. Don't even put me in it. <laughs> <laughs> don't even say it. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I don't even worry about it. Say joke or something. But um, <laughs> if, if, if I was in a relationship with someone who peed in a bed. Right? Yeah, why, would that, why would that even be an example? Like, I, like why, why would because you, it's just no, because it's just like, 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 to the guy to the, because to the outside world not be in the <laughs> because people <laughs> like to people <laughs> <laughs> to people that would be like, like the man no she said that earlier <laughs> yeah I said it earlier no, I'm just saying I'm it. Don't like, but what I'm saying is if there, these are things that the outside world would judge you for and I feel like I especially you, with <laughs> Joker, Joker gonna laugh at you when we leave. <laughs> if that was the case. Oh my God, bro. But things that the world would judge you by. <laughs> specifically, black men. Y'all, are, it's already like, y'all already fighting the world every single day. So it's like to add insult to injury and express personal details about someone whom you claim is your soulmate. To me, again, unsolicited. Man, I used to think Will Smith yeah, was I so cool. So wait, so, no, so yeah, no, Will Smith was cool. So like for ladies, like if y'all man was impotent and you're writing a tell-all book, would you put I'm that in? I'm not putting that in, would the you put that in the book. No, if that's what caused y'all to divorce. No. Yeah, if, if you're divorced, then you're not you're, keeping it real. You're not. You're gonna put that in the book. I wouldn't. I, I would not oh. be like, oh. <laughs> Erectile dysfunction was the last straw. Yeah, that was the last straw. <laughs> like that, you can you can say that in the book. You got it. Would you put it out there? Yes, like, but she's saying all all the first of all, they're not divorced. They're not yeah. divorced, and they will never get divorced. They'll never they get said. divorced. They will never divorce. So, for you to put something not say, but for you to put things like that in your book with a man, you're married to yeah, this. Yeah, to man. me, you're still, I, no, you're still a Smith. 
Y'all are no. still a brand. Y'all still have no. a legacy with y'all children. No, mind Don't you. destroy the legacy. What did she actually say? No, she, she, she said a lot. She said she, she said used to do a red table. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't see that. Tupac is my soulmate. That wasn't enough for you? Okay, no, I understand <laughs> that part. Like, but honestly, okay, he's dead. Like... But to go around saying that today in 2023, you're allowed to love more than married. one person in your lifetime. Like, keep it. Yeah, I, no, here's, I, here's, I, here's, here's my here's, here's, here's my here's my thing. When you Will Smith has to go and deal with other people, and he, when he walk into a room, they're gonna be like elephant in the room. It's we, weird. Your now. bitch love Tupac, and I don't <laughs> like it. Gets said like your woman holds your character. She is the keeper of your character. How your woman moves in a room shows a lot about you. It shows a lot about, you know, the type of people you deal with. That's why, that's why, honestly, that's why niggas be wanting their women to be at home. Because yeah. they, they rather you not even be seen than fuck up some shit. Not even that, but they don't, they don't want anybody to know where their weakness is at. Yeah, your woman is your reflection. Yeah. And let me so, tell you and when you do bring her into a room, you want her to be the the the, the ultimate vision. So, if if uh, Will Smith walks in a room and a DJ uh, plays California Love, oh, is he out of line? <laughs> so, that's a good song. That is. <laughs> right? like, that, that comes on. Is and, DJ out of line? Is, uh, and to play off what you're saying, like yes, everybody has the right to express their truth. That's that's everybody's right. But you have to be considerate. Uh, when your truth interferes with someone else, right? If I say, hey, um, I, I, I fast and I don't eat beef, but then I say, and the people I live with, they eat beef and really it makes me depressed. And I start talking bad about their shortcomings or their doing. It's like, you have to know when to draw the line because your truth could... I'm a, I'm a, hurt the people around you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the big example, and this is what I noticed just for, for me. What y'all. you damning? Now I was just thinking about that. Tupac was probably a better actor and better rapper than Will Smith. <laughs> uh, I would say Bishop was a cold road. Nah, I don't nah, know, bro. Man. Just really think about it. if he hadn't died. Concession was good. Concussion. I mean, I'm sorry. That was very good. You no, know what? I, watch I am crazy, <laughs> bro. Bro, he was so. You know what? Like, he, I don't give a. Yeah. That nigga, that's why Jada's is like that. And she's like, no, nah, Jada's like that because the one that got men, away. Men, men who, yeah, men who die and have something over you, it's like almost like Tupac's the best rapper because he never had a fall from grace. Jada no, holds, Jada yeah, holds, holds him, him at that there. high pedestal. Will Smith, personally, I don't know what they did personally, but he must have had a fall from grace in her eyes that this ain't really. They that literally guy. just did life together. Mind you, they got married in 1997. Tupac died in '96, so. For her to but still you know they say Tupac that like wild. Jada Mama was kind of like on some settled stuff. Like, yeah, you might as well yeah. go ahead and marry no, because Tupac was dead at the time. Like, yeah. what are you doing? I don't know. You, I don't I, yeah, again, yeah, you're right. Who knows? But Jada, I feel as you're right, covered thy husband. Uh, he's the breadwinner. I'm not. What are we doing? It, no, he it, makes it, the money. Because she would feel out of line if he got on the internet and was like, her coochie stank. She don't know yeah, how to them, cook. When the houses get foreclosed because ain't nobody <laughs> yeah. buying them Will Smith tickets, it's going to be a problem. Like, why did I say that? Like, if know. he got on the internet and did the same things her that stank. she her did. Her booty hole brown. <laughs> if, <laughs> if he got on the internet and did the same thing she did, not only would the world judge him, right? Because right. when a woman gets on the internet and she says, oh, my husband does this, that, and the third, and blah, 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 blah. Oh, you're a woman. You're so strong. It's so amazing. Thank you for telling your truth. But let a man get on the internet and tell his oh, truth about what's going on with his woman. Oh, he's misogynistic and he's a monster and toxic masculinity. And it's like, it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. All right, well, uh, you, you, you know, so passion, yeah. Yeah. Triggered want to add? just now. Yeah. Anything else you I want to hate add? that double standard. I hate that double standard, and uh, I personally do hate that double standard myself. It should be even kill. Um, so we, let's just run through some Will things. Will Smith fucked up the money. Jada got to go in. To uh, go, hey, I ain't gonna lie. I read the book. Um, go read. I'm, I'm not finished, but go read the book. The part where she gets so, to, when she talks about the slap is very eye opening. You were about to say oh, something for, yes. for so, a minute. It's very eye opening. Okay. okay. What are you about to say? So. When Rook uh, and Angel first got together, Rook has never been like, uh, he didn't care how she dressed. He didn't, man, he didn't like, you gotta wear this look. But as they grew into where they were going, she just started changing that on his own because 
when they went to certain places and did certain things, she knew it was her responsibility to represent him properly. And he never said, cause he's, he wasn't, he's never been that type of person, but she just gravitated to that because she knew she I wanted to represent that. him in a, in a fashion that was going to be uh, becoming. <clears throat> so that's just, I feel like a woman that really love you, she's just going to, she's going to transform into something that compliments you. And not get on the red table and talk. And not going on the red table and talk about so, how she doesn't satisfy you sexually. So, ladies, and I, let me ask you because he answered: Is love conditional, or is it unconditional? It's a choice. It's a choice. Yeah, okay. Choice. It's a circumstance, I guess. That's a choice. Everything a is circumstantial. I, I, love is not and I, I believe in the opposite. I, I I don't believe that love is a choice. I feel like you have a choice to be with someone. That's a choice. But loving someone, you you can't control that. That's yeah. why people stay in marriages and relationships, and you know. You have some people who cannot control whether they're in love or not in love. For example, you can't control the fact that you love your kids. Or that dog. You can't control it. You can, try, you can try to mentally be like, I don't love you, but, or you could be disconnected and you just don't love your kids and you just don't love them. Like it, you just are so, you're disconnected. So, um, I like that. I yeah, like that. I think I, like that, I don't. Uh, I don't. Example. I don't think that it's a choice. I, I think that it's something that you you cannot control. Now you can make the choices around love. Okay. But uh, you know, and then you know, to each his own. No, for sure. Yeah, you know, so, but and I'm just more specific with it. Like you said, unconditional. I can choose to love you unconditional. In my opinion, I can choose to love you through whatever, whatever. Yeah. Happens. Until like, that one condition happens, that you're like, okay. I, I can still I can still choose to love you, but also be honest about what's best for me. That's true. Because um, love can be detrimental to someone's health, life, and liberty. And I also just want to say, like, have y'all ever experienced death from somebody you were dating? I did. I have not, no. So would you dishonor that relationship? Did you love that person? Would you dishonor that relationship and just not talk about it? If you felt like that was your soulmate? Mm. Are, oh. you, are you? Oh, are I, you? I oh. thought we were talking about a different type of death. No, no, she got a good she point. Like, are you saying yeah. like, someone that you were in a relationship with passed away? Yeah. yeah. Are you currently now in a new situation, or are you not? She's talking about yeah. Tupac. Yeah, like if you're in a new situation, would you just choose not to honor the love that you felt with that person that you were with that passed away? And just keep it private, like you're suggesting Jay to do. You see what I'm saying? Yes, I would say she should do that. Um, the one, the one thing about eternal life is all I'm saying. When people look at eternal life, and someone could live forever, you're gonna find multiple people that you love. Let's say for thousands of years. There's no reason to bring that baggage of each person you found love with into the new situation. Allow the new situation to be its own thing. And she thing. brings it up often. Yeah, like, it's not like she did it one time and then never did it again. But if he personally didn't find an issue with it, like it sounds like. Well, I really don't know. I'm just like, right. you know, I'm still out in the know. If he, yeah, I don't. But if he really doesn't mind, like it doesn't hurt his feelings in any way. Like right. I definitely respect what y'all are saying, and I think it's a good, valid point to consider. Like especially because I, I have dated somebody. I didn't feel like he was my soulmate, but I would never say. I would never hold myself back from saying I loved him to somebody else to spare him. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, or say so like we had a really you say good you, relationship. Would you say that person he didn't measure up? You like you don't you not like my last. That's love? way different. Okay, yeah. all right. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 she's borderline doing that shit. But, okay. shit. but so again, she's borderline doing that shit. One thing to be having a conversation and you mentioned the fact right, like, I, see I what love you're this saying. person. No BS. Yes. Every time you get a mic in your hand, you're like, and by the way, tell you this. Don't forget about Tupac. Ooh, them abs. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's different when it's a, a <laughs> consistent <laughs> thing. You know what I'm saying? Because I respect. Even like you know, and I, we you know, I'm just a little open space. Like I, I dated someone in the past. Later on, I was with Rook, happy or whatever, and I found out that he had passed away. Mm. And it, why? Because it's funny. <laughs> his, name was, his name was King. His real name? His real His real legal on his birth certificate, King. This nigga really is did it. very, he's, we're very dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. See, I so, did. <laughs> but no, um, he said, passed away. And, um, you know, I was honest with Rook about it. Like, hey, like I just found out that this person, and you know, Rook and I have spoken about him and mm -hmm. like whatever, but 
I, I don't talk about this man. Like, right, right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, if, not. if, <laughs> I'm saying like, if Ruth asks me like, Hey, like such and such when it comes to him, then yes, we can discuss it. But like, I would never, other than this moment right now, publicly talk about him. I don't bring him up at random. Publicly talk about him on a podcast. I don't, I said other than right now. No, no. We and that's it's to the point, like, because at the end of the day, regardless of whatever the situation I had with him, good, bad, or indifferent, I'm here now. Here, and this is what it is. Here, here's the thing. Right. Because like we have. Respecting your partner. Yeah. Here, here's the thing. Because like, we have to. We, we, like, <laughs> <on> to <laughs> we like to think men aren't emotional. Uh, or we don't have emotional investments in y'all, but we do. We're so emotional. So. More emotional than us, if you ask me. We like to come in and believe that. We are, Can you do that again? What was that? Believe mm. <laughs> that we are bringing you the best life possible, and no other life that you have experienced before me could not be better. could not Amen. could not be better than this. And we know <laughs> when, and we know we know when we're falling short. Like we know when we're falling short. Like okay, this saying we got to do better. Yeah, we and we know. So for to hear about another man in your life that could have possibly been providing you a better life or you may have loved more or he fulfilled you more, it's hard to get over it as a man. It's just hard to move past because it's like, it's just like no man wants a girl who done did everything. Like, oh, girl, I want to take you on a helicopter ride. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember when XYZ t- took me on a helicopter ride. Yeah, oh, damn girl, I want to take right. you to Paris. Ain't no I'm new frontier. Ain't no new like, frontier. Like, damn, bitch. I done did everything. What, what, can, I, what can I show you? I have to grab a star out the sky. Oh, yeah. man, the way. I think I that there's a one. way to he get, communicate. He already brought me that. a star. <laughs> there's a way to communicate that was like respectfully though. Like, mm-hmm. like I know like you was just playing maybe the like, yeah. damn bitch hopefully you wouldn't just nah, No, 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 no. <laughs> but, of course he won't say that. But, that no, is and I feel you, but and I think that no, I definitely feel you on that. Like um what what did you just say? I was gonna say something about it. Oh, as far as doing everything and getting into a situation where a woman has done everything. Yeah, and I think it's I think it's Jada's responsibility as a woman to keep in mind of how she's bringing up somebody else. Like again, I don't know the situation. Fuck Jada. I'm in general. In general. In general, it's a woman's response. It's both people's responsibility, but in this situation, it's a woman's responsibility to watch her mouth. Like, because watch the energy, like feel the energy of your partner when you are bringing up certain things, doing certain things, just like sex. Do you pay attention to their breathing, their sounds? Okay. When you're having certain (laughs) conversations, <laughs> Amen. I'm listening. Have you I'm ever listening. had somebody? Okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> but like, if you're, if you, see, if you see somebody's confidence, like, but it's also his responsibility to communicate that. But it's her responsibility to know, like, men thrive off of respect. That's one of the top love language or whatever. However, yeah. like, men receive and like is feeling respected, and I think that's definitely her responsibility. Uh, yeah. I really had street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.